By the end of this video, you'll be able to spawn as a custom character in the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So it is pretty straightforward to set up your game to spawn as a custom character. You wanna make sure that you have your game published to Roblox so you can test it out. So I've got my game here, and if I were to hit play right now, I'm gonna spawn as my default avatar that I have on my Roblox account. As you can see, this is the avatar that I spawn with now. So I'm gonna go ahead and press stop. So it's very easy to spawn as a custom character. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to your plugins, and you can use any plugin that will allow you to insert an avatar. You can even use the, the rig builder as well. So you can either do build a rig and use that avatar, or I'm just gonna do a character inserter from Moon Animator, so you just download the plugin for Moon Animator 2, click the character inserter, and then now I just need my player ID number, I'm gonna go ahead and use another user's avatar. So once it figures that out, I can do an R6 and R15, I'm gonna do R15, I'm gonna click insert. So now I have another avatar here, and you can see it showed up in the Explorer tab on the right hand side. So I'm gonna do the drop down here. So you may need to delete some of the things out of here, and make sure that you have all the parts of an R15 or an R6, and make sure you have a humanoid in there as well. With everything in place, then now you can go ahead and rename this, and you need to rename this Starter Character, and press Enter. So now that I've renamed that to Starter Character, and you have to have that exactly as you see it written there, I'm gonna drag that into Starter Player, so the folder for Starter Player. So I'm gonna go ahead and click, uh, release that. So now the Starter Character is in Starter Player. Now you can play as that character. So you wanna test run your game, so go ahead and I'm gonna press play. And so you can see I was spawned as a custom character or the character that I changed it to. Now right now I'm not able to move and you might have a similar problem so let me show you how to fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and press stop, make sure you do that. So press stop and then now I'm gonna go to the starter character. Now sometimes you need to delete some of these things. I'm gonna actually keep all of that. What you need to make sure you do is unanchor the humanoid root part. It might be in other places too you might need to unanchor. So I'm gonna go click on humanoid root part. So on the bottom right in the properties tab, I need to scroll down to where I find anchored and I need to turn anchored off. So I turned anchor off. And so now I'm gonna test run this game and I'll press play. And so I spawned as the custom character and I'm able to move around and all everything works. And again, you're gonna wanna make sure that on your right hand side of your screen in the Explorer tab with your starter character, you wanna make sure that there's nothing there that's conflicting with the character. Again, you might need to turn some things off that are anchored. And you're gonna make sure that have the character has every part that is there. So if it's an R15, it has 15 parts. If it's R6, it has six parts. So you know how to insert a custom character into the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.